Hey there, I want to show you how you can easily add reverb to your vocal mix in FL Studio. If you're new, hit the subscribe button down below and let's get started. So right here we have our session. Let's listen. On my way to a beautiful place. I saw a pretty girl, she got a beautiful face. To me, I know go lie, that's my eye, jam my eye. That's the moment that I knew she got a beautiful taste. No, 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 no. Say, girl, you don't keep me young again. Make you no go for my auntie, oh my girl, she did drive me crazy, but they like Kelly. Before you apply a reverb, the very first thing you need to make sure it's correct in your session is your tempo. Make sure your tempo is correct because reverb is a time-based effect. And to detect the tempo for your beat, you can simply just double-click your instrumental track, double-click the track, then right-click and then come to detect tempo now if you are working with dance hall afro beat i'm a piano right typically you want to use 75 to 150 but if you're working with maybe trap or hip-hop or drill you typically want to use 100 to 200 beats per minute okay so in my case is since i'm in afro beat genre i'm going to click 75 to 150 and it's going to calculate it and to tell you the number so it's 96 or, the, or it's already shown in the um, instrumental file but it's important you do a double check to make sure it's the same. And after doing that, you want to turn on your metronome to make sure the count hits, okay? So I'm going to press play. Yeah. So you want to make sure it hits continuously, okay? And you want to hear it again in a random place in the instrumental. Perfect. So it's consistent all across. Okay. So this is the very first step to make sure, you know, your reverb is going to work well when your tempo is correct. So the next step is we're going to create a send from our vocal mix. Now, remember, you need to make sure your tuning and your EQ and compression is to be done properly before you add reverb. If not, it's just going to sound like a mess. Okay. I already have some tutorials on my YouTube channel right here on how to EQ, tune, compress vocals correctly. Okay. So I'm assuming you've already done this. So now you're struggling with getting your reverb to sound good without swallowing up your vocals or making your vocals sound too muddy or too, too um too dull in the mix. So all you have to do, all you have to do is simply select your vocal right on the mixer, and then create a send right here. It's easier to control your reverb when you have it as a send rather than you know applying it directly on your um, mixing chain. Okay, and let's come right here and re rename it. Just call it reverb send. Okay, you can name it lead vox or lead vocals. If you have several vocals in your um, in your mix, maybe you featured a different artist or different artists are in your um, mixing session, I recommend you share the same um, reverb setting if they're just going to have basic reverb needs. Unless, you know, an artist has a special requirement, then you, know, you may want to apply or have a different reverb set for that unique artist. But if it's for just, um, they just have the same vibe going on, right? You can they can all share the same reverb send. That's another benefit of having a reverb send. Multiple vocals can be sent or can be routed into you know this point right here. That the next step for creating our vocal reverb is just click this slot right here and just load up Fruity Reverb 2. Now there are so many great reverb plugins out there. Um, I do like using Fruity Reverb 2. It's a great plugin, it's really easy to use, and it's relatively light on CPU for most people okay and you're still going to get really good results using fruity reverb too so how do we you know use these buttons you know to get a good reverb plugin without feeling overwhelmed the very first thing you need to do is turn down the dry because the dry is the main vocal running into the sand we don't want to hear it as a double okay that's why we're taking out the dry but we're going to increase the west to about 100 percent okay so all we hear is the affected sound and this is how it sound like so all we are here right now is the wet sound right with the dry sound if i unroute it from the master this is how it will sound so that is how the current reverb sound is but now we need to tweak that okay so we've turned down the dry and we've taken the wet up to 100 percent so what's the next step now we need to use the reverb calculator it's very easy to use i don't know why many people overcomplicate the process of using a reverb calculator with so many calculations but reverb calculators are really easy to use so just open up your browser and just simply search for reverb calculator they are free they're mostly free on the internet 
So you can see one, one of my favorites is um, this guy right here, the second option in your search. Then simply type in your bits per minute. Remember I told you your tempo sets the tone for your reverb, right? So I simply press 96, then hit calculate. And it's going to show you these numbers. Now, I do recommend you use the big room presets, okay? Although you can experiment with the small room or the hall, but I do recommend use the big room preset because over time it has proven to be the optimal reverb sound for most vocal mixes, okay? So I'm going to use this pre delay at 39, then the decay time at 2460 milliseconds, okay? But most reverb calculators will have this in seconds as well, okay? So, and this may also be in seconds. So you have to do is divide this by a thousand milliseconds to seconds is a thousand, so it should be about 2.46 seconds or 2.5 approximate 2.5 seconds okay so let's remember 39 milliseconds and 2460 or 2.46 um seconds so i'm going to come right here to our to our rep plugin all i have to do is come to the delay right here right then all i have to do is come to so just hold control while you're trying to adjust the delay because it moves really fast so control tries to lock it in so 39 right if you look at the top left of my screen, you should see 39 milliseconds. To confirm, 39 milliseconds, then the decay, 2,460. So let's come to decay. So once you can see that it's in seconds rather than milliseconds at the top, so you always will be having 2.46 or roughly 2.5 seconds. So let's have that 2.5 seconds. Yes. And then next, you want to increase the size to be as big as possible possible okay so that it has an even diffusion in space because reverb is just basically emulating a space so let's hear how it sounds it still sounds terrible right it's not, it still sounds like the reverb is overtaking the vocal and that's where you know this send knob comes right all i have to do is reduce the send so you reduce it to the amount you like. Most times I recommend anywhere between 5 to 30%. Sometimes you may go a little bit higher or, or, you know, even lower. But most times 5 to 30% is the ideal place I do have my vocals while I'm sending into the reverb. So if you look at the top left of the FL Studio hint panel right here, you should still see um, the amount, the percentage right here. So I'm going to reduce this. Let's see. Let's take to 30% and here it sounds. You can hear that reverb. If I turn it off, if I turn it on, me an office of this mathematics. So girl, you know the four. I know fit to break your heart. No be playboy, but I get it up. Now we can hear the reverb adding more life and dimension to the vocals. Now, if you are in an untreated space, you don't have acoustic panels in your room, I recommend you use headphones to get your reverb settings right because your space can really play, you know, tricks on you on how you perceive the reverb on your vocals. Okay. So if you don't have acoustic panels, please use headphones. So I mean to let me increase this a little bit. If you want more reverb on your vocals, simply increase this send okay to your taste but again like i said make sure you're doing this in a treated space or use headphones so it's sounding really good now there's still some steps we can do to make our reverb sound even better we can load up an eq fruity parametric eq it's a free eq that comes in fl studio and it's a really good equalizer all i have to do is now try to adjust the frequencies right to make the reverb sound more polished for example i could take away some low end and low mids and if i want the reverb to be you know more bright or brighter i can simply boost the high end and if i want it to be darker i can simply cut it out 
nothing counting. Me, I know fish of this Marty Marty's. So, girl, you know the four. I know fit to break your heart. No, be playboy, but I get it. So, if you notice that your reverb is too harsh, you can simply cut it out like this. Or if you notice your reverb is too dull, you can simply brighten it up by boosting, you know, this. So, this is how you can easily apply a reverb on your vocals really easy and fast and free, of course, in FL Studio. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks.